are you interested in expansion of brakes do you know do you know that what is the meaning of expansion of brakes for india how does it impact the world politics today we will talk about the expansion of brakes and the changing geopolitics in the world hello good afternoon everyone are you interested in expansion of brakes do you know do you know that what is the meaning of expansion of brakes for india how does it impact the world politics today we will talk about the expansion of brakes and the changing geopolitics in the world i am dr bijendra jha i teach political science and international relation optional paper at pluto ties let me tell you about new expansion of brics and if you know that few states have joined brics let's see what are the states who joined brics right so there are few states like argentina egypt ethiopia iran saudi arabia and uae you know have formally joined brics membership will be in force from january 1 2024 earlier you know when the group was formed in 2009 only there was a member brazil russia india china in 2009 one of one year later south africa was added into the group now expansion has been already done what's the meaning for the us what is the meaning for india what is the meaning for the china of the expansion of the brics country now let's see you know the earlier members the earlier members were only brazil russia india and china later on south africa was added this group was is is a leading economist you know world world largest economy in the world and the coin was this world was coined by the onel in 2001 in chef jal you know in you know the goldman sachs report and formally the group was organized in 2009 right and this group constitute if you look at the basic facts about the group now this group comprise 41% of the world population now with the expansion of the new countries right this the 50% of world population you know lies you know resides in the brics countries now if you look at you know this countries have more than 26% of the world gdp now if you look at they shares more than 18% of the world gdp and if you look at big countries have main engine of the world economic growth right over the period and if you look at over the period big countries have also come together to resolve many common issues now prime minister modi has given you know few uh, theme to the brics uh, countries right and today we will talk about you know all these points and if you look at you know the group it was formed in 2009 right and if you look at this was the first in person meeting since 2019 in johannesburg right where the six members had been added into the brics right and if you look at the decision was favor of expansion after the 13 years because last time in 2010 the membership was given to the south africa now if you look at the more than you know 20 countries are willing to join brics group why is it so because of the region the, these are the countries who are developing you know very fast if you look at china it is a second largest economy in the world if you look at india it is also you know one of the fastest growing economy in the world if you look at brazil same if you look at south africa it is also one of the you know fastest growing economy in the world so if you look at the expansion of the brics right it has created many issues right especially when the countries of the global south has joined it now what does it mean to the west especially to the us to the uk and european union what does it mean to the group 7 
which is uh, you know the the first world the economic block for the first world right so look at the historical background of the BRICS the term was coined by the Goldman Golden Man Shash the chief economist uh, uh, in 2001 and formally it was formed in 2009 and in 2010 South Africa has joined this group now basic facts I have already talked about this now if you look at the basic you know cooperation in the group now if you look at the basic there are three pillars of the BRICS one is the political and security cooperation so basically to enhance economic and security cooperation and dialogue on global issues right these countries meet and resolve the common issue right so if you look at the priority they give priority on multilateral system what do you mean by multilateral system it means you know the all everything is decision taken on the consensus right and by the agreement of all countries and secondly it talks about the counter terrorism cooperation so first pillar of the BRICS country is you know the political and security cooperation and coordination second is financial and economic cooperation if you look at these countries are the one of the fastest growing economies of the world right the china growing more fast than ever before and it has you know produced not only opportunity but also challenge for the us and uk and the first world now if you look at the BRICS countries they to, they are to promote economic growth and development for the mutual you know mutual prosperity through the expansion of market through the expansion of you know trade agriculture right transfer of technology and so on and so forth right now the third is recognizing the advantages of using technology and digital solutions for right for the countries and achieving sustainable development goal which is a prime agenda for the global south and if you look at you know the BRICS as a you know economic block it has evolved as you know anti-US anti-western domination in world politics and it believed in multipolarity rather than the US preferences which is talked about you know the unipolar world now if you look at you know they cooperate on different agenda for example for disaster management for innovation for health for education and so on and so forth and the third you know the third pillar is the cultural and people to people exchange the BRICS countries are promoting people to people exchange right so to to you know to know each other better right they try to make a university right they try to invest you know in technology in development and so on and so forth now if you look at the recent summit that was held in held in johannesburg south africa where if you look at the key agenda was you know developing a partnership towards an equitable just transition this was the first prime agenda of the BRICS countries now if you look at the second you know uh, agenda it was transforming education and skills right for the future third was unlocking opportunities through the african countries you know through free trade area fourth was strengthening post pandemic socio economic recovery we know that pandemic had impacted the world right for different regions right for and poses challenges on several accounts so they talked about the strengthening the post pandemic socio economic recovery and attainment of the 230 agenda that is called sustainable development agenda now it also talked about how to strengthen the multilateralism right and it is rejects unilateralism it rejects plurilateralism it supports multilateralism now if you look at the key priority of india that is very very important for the you know like if you look at key expansion key priority for india india offered you know indian digital public infrastructure right for the brics countries and if you look at the prime minister proposed skill mapping skill 
promotion of mobility among the BRICS countries. And if you look at India also calls upon the BRICS partner to support the European Union as a permanent member for the BRICS, BRICS group. Now, if you look at India also said that BRICS countries must think of a space ex explorations cooperation consortium, right? And PM holds separate meeting with the South Africa and India also called for, you know, that BRICS should be the voice of the global South. Now, the, the BRICS has been already expanded. Now, let me tell you what does it mean for the US? What does it mean for the India? What does it mean for the China? And what does it mean for, you know, the other global South? Right now, India has good relationship with developed good relationship with uh, UAE, and we have free trade agreement last year with UAE. Now we have tried to have trade in rupees rather than dollar. Right? If you look at Iran, Iran has position, right? Uh, you know, and US is against Iran. What does it mean? Uh, mean inclusion of Iran in BRICS group? It means, you know, giving challenge to the US domination, right? And the unipolar world politics. Now, if you look at the China, China recently has developed good relations with UAE, uh, Iran, and Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Now, if you look at China and Russia, both stands against the US domination, right? And domination of the G7 countries, right? So they have also, this is also mean something different to the US, right? It talks about simply that it is a anti-US, anti-UK, anti-G7 group domination, right? Now, what is the meaning for India and what is the meaning for the countries like Latin America or the countries like Ethiopia, like countries like the Middle East group, like Egypt, who had been included in the group. Can we call it as a, you know, second Bandung conference? Bandung conference is very important in order to understand the cooperation among the global south. In 1955, that was the genesis of the rise of NAM, non-alignment movement. Can we, you know, make some analogy between Johannesburg, right, 15th Breaksha Mitch and the Bandung Conference held in, in, two, in 1955, right? If you see the, not only the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, but also the leader of the South, like, right, like the President of the South Africa, who talked about, you know, the BRICS should be the voice of the global South. India agreed with it and can we say that it is a new alignment, right? New grouping to, to oppose the dominance of the US, UK or G7, right? Group 7 domination in world politics, right? So it has different meaning for different countries, but you know, it is a very much or very efficient and very effective, you know, um, expansion of the BRICS countries and it will have, you know, different impact in world politics. Now, G20 summit is going to be held in India recently. And of course, now if you look at G in G20, India is trying to push the agenda of the global south. Now it has connection with the BRICS summit and then, you know, expansion of the BRICS, right? So there is a there is a you know new challenges and new opportunities in in the global politics right and not recently now but in the next few years in the pretext of the russia ukraine war right and in the you know the post pandemic world which is struggling still for the recovering you know um, economy and the world is facing three problem, food, fertilizer, and fuel, right? That there is a global price rise that, you know, impacting the third world countries. Now, in this context, you know, the expansion of BRICS has its own importance, right? This is for, you know, uh, today. We'll see you next day. Thank you so much. See you.